as well as setting up square and isometric grids, to be able to set up advanced axonometric grids in Affinity Design, which lets you customize the grid to your liking. So in this video, we'll look at that. And we'll also look at a new option which is available in Designer 1.7, which is the Grid Cube option. This is a visual way of arranging and designing an advanced uh, axonometric grid. So this design is based on a custom axonometric grid. It looks very similar to an isometric grid. If I switch that on there, you can see the grid there. But in fact, the spacings and the angles that are used are different to the isometric. So what I'm going to do is to just show you how you can set up the grid without the uh, design objects on there. And then you can get a feel for how you can design your own custom grids. So first of all, we'll jump over to a very basic page and I can show you how you can set the grid up. So I just want to switch on the Grid and Access Manager and display the grid. So from the View menu, Grid and Access Manager. And then we can enable Show Grid, which will display a basic 64 pixel spacing uh, square grid with divisions of four. But what I want to show you is these two options here, there's Advanced and Cube options on separate tabs. So first of all, I'll click Advanced, and then we'll choose uh, an advanced grid. And you do that by choosing the two axis custom option to start with. So I'll just switch off create plane set for the moment, and we'll cover that a little bit later on. Um, but I want to enable the grid origin of the uh, axis editing handles. And if I do this, you'll see in the very top left hand corner of your page, this kind of uh, origin which shows a green second axis and a red first axis. So bring that down more to centrally onto the page and we zoom into the, the origin. You can see that we have the first axis which can be changed. You see the spacing value change here. And its angle as well change as well. And similarly for the second axis, we can extend that and down. But these uh, axes uh, are changing and the spacing values are changing at the same time as each other because uniform is checked. So if I uncheck that, you'll be able to independently scale and change the angle of your axes, either one. If you use the shift key and then drag, you'll get independent control of the moving axis, changing the spacing only as it will be constrained. You'll see the angle doesn't change. In addition, if I use the command key for Mac, control key for Windows, I'll be able to change the angle of the moving axis. Of course, you can set explicit spacing and angle values on the dialog as well, if you want to be exact to a particular measurement. If I just go back and switch uniform on, I just want to show that the spacing values change in relation to each other. So now I want to switch on the create plane set. So this introduces a third axis and that's the up axis. So I'll just enable that and we'll see this blue line appear just here. And because we've enabled a third axis, we're now in a position to utilize the isometric panel because this will allow you to swap between the different planes and allow us to draw directly onto the front, the side and the top plane. So I'll just zoom out a little bit. So we can see what we're doing here. Now this blue axis handle can be adjusted just as before. You can see that angle can be changed. We'll see it changing just here. And if I press the command key for Mac, control key and Windows, I'll be able to scale, but change the angle of that particular up axis myself. 
if I wanted to uncheck uniform, I can create axes which are longer than the um, other axes. And I can even use a fixed aspect ratio of two. Okay, I'll uncheck fi fixed aspect ratio now. Okay, that's the grid setup sorted now. So all you need to do to uh, draw onto the grids is to choose the right plane, uh, enable edit in plane, and then use the shape tool or text tool to draw directly onto the current plane. Let's now jump onto the last option, which is the cube option. So this allows you to use a combination of elevation, orientation, and roll settings to set this particular cube, if you see here on the, uh, the, this area here, this model, you can see the grid changing visually, not only in the model, but actually directly on the page as well. So you can set your elevation, you set your roll if you need to, and probably more importantly, you set the orientation by just rotating left or right. So you can not only take advantage of uh, a very visual and uh, hands-on approach when adjusting the model, uh, you're also getting the axes which are naturally foreshortened to give a more natural uh, look to the isometric or the axonometric drawing.